TikTok user Nicole filmed her landlord as she confronts him about the money he's allegedly taken out of her security deposit. Okay, great. Should I grab that uh, check before I just get out of Oh, we have it? Okay. Hi. Okay, Ben. How's Hi. it going? Good. Good. How are you? Good. How are you doing? <laughs> you I'm wanna, okay. Do you want to talk about this? Definitely. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I, yeah, so all of these things were there when I moved in. While her landlord insists the apartment was delivered in a better condition than it was returned and that he would never rent out an apartment in such a condition, Nicole is quick to counter. There's and no I... way that I would give an apartment to anybody in that condition as to what it was left to me. I, there... The broken mini blinds, the broken window, like I would never, we've been doing this a long time and I would never give that apartment to somebody in that condition. Yeah, that's, it's just not true, Ben. And I, I, I think that you know that because it's just false. And I've been in other apartments that you own and they're not in the best condition. And that, that is how it was when I moved in. So all of these charges make it seem like the place was just in complete disrepair. I mean, a thousand dollars to paint the entire place. Those spots were absolutely there when I moved in. Um, the broken window pane in the kitchen was so high. It's the, you know, the tiny little window that I can't even reach. So mm -hmm. it makes no difference to me. Um, I, the broken towel, toilet paper holder that was still working when I was there, the broken mini blinds, um, they were still functioning. They just weren't great. Uh, the plastic pullout drawer in the fridge, um, was the fridge wasn't able to shut okay so the, sh the fridge was able to shut with that in there so i had to take it out mm -hmm. um and then the bellport charges in regards to the missing shower curtains my shower curtains were working just fine well, there was, um, was causing a leak to the apartment no, down well, that's, below. well that's what they were guessing um it's pretty weird that my shower curtains were working just fine for the entire 11 months that i was there and then mm -hmm. in the last um month they decided that because of my shower curtains, that's why the floor is leaking. But then they also added that sealant to the floor, which makes me think that that's why the leak was happening, not because of my shower curtains. And to charge me $350 for plastic shower curtains that cost $20 from the Dollar Tree, right? And you can't just charge someone shower curtains without saying, hey, by the way, this is gonna cost you $350. Well, that, that, those are the actual charges that Bellport charges me. That, that's not me making any money. Though That's the charges directly from their bill. Okay, so... That's, so you know, because well, they, had to, okay, they had to go out there so, and do it two different times, yeah. and, and then you admitted to them that you took the shower curtains down, and then it leaked again, and then they had to go back again. So even if that is true that you're not directly pocketing the $350, that brings me to my next point. $2,000 to me, Ben... Is. Nicole isn't the first to go viral complaining about issues regarding a security deposit. While security deposits serve as a form of protection for landlords against damages and unpaid rent, there has been many issues associated with landlords keeping security deposits. Some landlords may unjustly withhold portions of the security deposit for repairs, cleaning, or other expenses that are not warranted. This could include normal wear and tear that is the landlord's responsibility to address. Landlords may fail to provide tenants with a detailed explanation of why deductions were made from the security deposit, leaving tenants in the dark about the reasons for the withheld funds. It has been three months since I've moved out of my old apartment and I have not received my security deposit back. So I've been played by a lot of uh, apartments in the past where they kept my security deposit it was just a couple hundred dollars had to get the carpet change change the window blinds or whatever stuff like that and a couple hundred dollars it was i was like whatever just just take it fix this fix all that stuff whatever it's fine this apartment i make sure to 
get everything from the jump. I took pictures from the start for the inventory and um, the the pre uh, before walk in to see like they, they don't charge me for this this and that because they did have some stuff messed up. They were low key still renovating when we moved into the apartment. So I kept track of all that. I kept track of all of our leases, all of our documents and everything. And I was saying we are getting our deposit back at the end of the end of our term, no matter what. And so comes to the last few months of my, of the lease in September, they uh, we have the notice to vacate saying that we're ending our lease in November and that this is our forwarding address, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You know the deal. So come November 3rd, we do the final walkthrough. They even said that the apartment looks the cleanest they've ever seen. We cleaned to the nitty gritty for that apartment. The only thing they told us that we would get um, deducted for was the paint job because we did do it pretty we didn't get uh, the paint matched very well so it was obvious that the paint was messed up and they said that was about going to be like $80 and we we're like great awesome just the paint job thank you oh and keep in mind our security deposit was about $1,400 1400 plus because we had a approval with conditions with our um, our application and so we had to play, pay like an extra month's uh, rent for our security deposit so I emailed them right after the walkthrough. Thanks for doing the walkthrough. Here's our forwarding address. Thank you, blah, 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 blah. And so per the lease, it states that the apartment would send us a list of itemized deductions so we know how much would be taken off from our security deposit. And then we would receive our security deposit within 30 days of the lease ending. The lease ended November 4th, 2023. It is, no, it is February 28, 2024. And so I realized that, you know, the check hadn't come. I followed back up. Um, sometime in December, like the beginning of December had been about a month. I waited the 30 days and I said, Hey, just wanted to follow up on the checks. Have they been sent? And they said, Hey, the checks were sent on December 7th. And I said, cool, great. It's December 14th. It's been two weeks already. It's been a week already. Haven't seen it, but you know, we'll wait a little bit longer because they said I was coming from like California or something and I live in Texas. So come December 14th, December 28th, new year, no check. And so I'm keeping a paper trail. That's why I'm emailing them. So I, I reach out again like, hey, we haven't received the checks. Um, is there any update on this? And they said the checks were sent out. Uh, and I was like, okay, well, can I at least get like a tracking information? Because checks, they're sent. They're sent by certified mail. There's a tracking number. You, you can know where the checks are when they're sent via mail. And so she said, sorry, no, I don't have any tracking information. And I said, oh, okay, well, can I at least have the phone number to like a boss or the person in charge of sending these checks so that I know where where they are and they said sorry we don't have a phone number and then i was like this this red flags like how do you not have the phone number pretty much to your boss this is their their boss their boss their boss and so i it's come january 2024 this year i'm like i'm thinking they're about to play us we're probably gonna have to take legal action for this kind of matter so i reached back out again uh middle of january sent another email me like hi you know let's just say the the check got lost in the mail just have them void the check and resend it we're all good to go radio silence and so now we're here today uh towards the end of february and um i sent a demand letter and they happened to respond but they have not given me an actual answer on on why we haven't received the check I am not a very confrontational person, so the fact that I had to send a demand letter and do all this stuff is very, like, nerve-wracking to me. And if I have to take this to court and do a lawsuit and, and get a lawyer and all this stuff, it's, 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 it makes my head hurt. It makes my head hurt. I pretty much stated in the demand letter that, you know, they owe us this. If they don't send us our check until March 14th, we're taking this, we're taking to court. And we're taking legal action. And, um... Yeah, they have not said anything. They tried calling me, and I said I, I'd rather stick to email so that I can make sure all the accurate information is stated. And they said, well, we want to make sure we can get this resolved sooner. And I'm just thinking, I responded, like, we'd, we'd resolve sooner if you would just send the check. You have all the information you need from us. You have all the, you know, you're, just do your job, and you know what to do. Um. So, yeah, here we are. Um. If we don't hear back from them by March 14th and we don't see a check, then I am going to have to get a lawyer and send us to court. Disagreements are very frequent between landlords and tenants regarding the extent of damages to the property and the appropriate deductions from the security deposit to cover repair costs. In some cases, landlords simply neglect or delay returning the security deposit to the tenant after the lease has ended, despite no valid reasons for withholding any portion of it.